Hi Pisces, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, why did your person disappear on you and ghost you? Why did your person disappear on you and ghost you? Now, this is not going this reading is not going to be for all of you Pisces. This is just going to be for you Pisces who have been dealing with someone who who you haven't seen in a while, who you haven't talked to in a while, someone who just stopped communicating with you, they stopped messaging you, and you're wondering what happened with them and why they ghosted you. This reading is going to be for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up to my video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, spirit angels and guides, why did this person ghost Pisces, whoever it is that Pisces was connecting to and dealing with in love? Alright Pisces, first card we have here is the King of Wands upright, Ten of Wands in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Lovers upright, and the Chariot card upright. You might be dealing with a fire sign, there's a lot of wands here, so Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. We also have Gemini, we have Cancer. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Some of you, uh, uh, some of you Pisces, might have been dealing with a player, okay? Because this is the card of the player. Wow, a lot of wand energy. Look at this: Knight of Wands, Six of Wands, Two of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Devil. Okay, so maybe you're dealing with someone who. It shouldn't have been a surprise that they ghosted you. It looks like you, this this is kind of predictable. This is something that would have been predictable from this person. Hmm. All right, let me take a look here. Yeah. I'm getting a, a, a big traveler type of energy. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who travels a lot or someone who is at a distance. There's a very back and forth type of energy. They come and go, come and go, and they're back and forth. Well, they definitely feel a connection with you with the lover's card. So there is definitely um, a mutual. I feel like it's mutual, mutual connection between you two. But I mean, the chariot is here. So I feel like this person isn't really being present. Um, they're not allowing themselves to be present in this connection that you two have. That was the microwave. I have a, I have a TV dinner cooking there. <laughs> I like TV dinners. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like this person is not allowing themselves to get attached, basically. I feel like they're, they're scared to get attached. And I feel like they're looking for a relationship here with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, this could also mean that they're involved with someone else. I'm not getting... I mean, that there's a third party situation. I'm not strongly getting that. I mean, there might be somebody else in the picture, but I feel like it's it's casual. It's nothing serious. 
I feel like they're treating that person the same way they're treating you. Not really giving them much, you know. All right, let me go ahead and clarify. Tell me about this King of Wands spirit. All right, we have the five of wands, more wands here. What else? And we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Five of wands, they're dealing with some sort of conflict. I'm not sure if it's related to you. I don't feel like it is related to you. This can even be internal conflict. They, it feels like they're distracted. Their attention is, is elsewhere here. Tell me about the Ten of um, Wands in Reverse. Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands upright. They might be struggling financially for some of you with the Five of Pentacles being here. Um, it's like they don't want to, they don't want to disconnect themselves from you, but at the same time, they feel like they don't have anything good to offer you with the Five of Pentacles. They feel like they're lacking. They have a lacking mentality. Yeah, I feel like this Five of Wands is internal conflict. They feel like they they can't offer you stability right now. They feel like they themselves are not in a stable place right now. And because of that, they can't offer you any stability. But they do feel a connection with you. Hmm. I feel like they're avoiding communicating with you here. Um almost out of shame a little bit i'm getting a bit of shame energy tell me about tell me about the chariot spirit yeah king of pentacles in reverse yeah clarifying the chariot this is what i'm saying they're very un they're very unstable Yeah, for some of you, they don't even have like a permanent home. I'm getting that specific message. They don't have, right now, they don't have a permanent home. Maybe they kind of, they left their parents' house and they're currently kind of just trying to figure out where they want to settle down. They're just not really proud of of where they are in life at this moment and they don't want to they don't want you they don't want you to see them in that way i feel like this person just has a lot of ego and they want to project a certain image to you um i feel like they want to be seen as someone who is stable and someone who has has it all together and it's not the case and i feel like they're kind of keeping their distance from you out of out of insecurity, you know. Tell me more about the char um chariot. Yeah, the magician in reverse. They're refusing to take action right now. They're They're kind of being a little bit passive here. They might be in a little bit of a, a complaining type of energy. I feel like this person is doing a lot of complaining, but they're not taking a lot of action. So they're not really helping themselves here with the magician in reverse. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, they 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 lack independence. They're lacking independence. And that's what they're trying to achieve. They're trying to achieve more independence for themselves. What is the lovers here, spirit? Tell me about the lovers. We have the three of pentacles in reverse. Okay, what else? Yeah, and the empress card in reverse. So this person just has a really negative mindset here. You know, kind of a, a poverty. They, they're, they're mentally seeing themselves in a state of poverty. You know, in in, in a state of lacking. They don't believe in their own power, in their own ability to manifest, um, to manifest their dreams, to manifest, you know, their goals. So they're kind of struggling to, to, to be self-empowered within themselves. Mm -hmm. And it, it's reflecting negatively on their relationships, especially their relationship with you, with the Empress card in reverse. There's a lack of growth in, in the love relationship. And Three of Pentacles in reverse, it's like there's a lack of a foundation because you two are not on the same page. You're not communicating with each other. You're not working with each other. Yeah. And I feel like this person needs to accept help. Because I feel like their ego is not allowing them to, to accept help from others. Okay, Pisces. So um, I hope this reading resonated with you and I hope it was useful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please give me a thumbs up, up, a thumbs up if, you, if it resonated. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.